Who is Maurice? Maurice is my friend, uh, my buddy, my uh, diving buddy. Most of the people, they don't believe it because uh, I don't know why you can, you can have some relationship with some, a lot of other uh, animals. So why not with the fish? What I love about diving, zero gravity, to fly. That's uh, the dream. When, uh, when I was a kid, I, want, I wanted to be an astronaut, but uh, it's a little bit difficult. And finally, diving is not so far uh, from that. My choice was uh, about diving because, uh, because of Cousteau, probably, when I was a kid, with all the video, the, the, the things. And uh, my choice was this or uh, airplane. Uh, Pilot. Diving is expensive, but it's uh, still cheaper to have uh, dive equipment than uh, an airplane. So finally, I choose to dive. <laughs> ah, this bay is uh, yeah, difficult to describe, but that's uh, yeah, that's a canyon who comes inside uh, the mountain with the sea inside, and uh, yeah, that's like a little fjord. And uh, that's a perfect uh, place uh, for diving. The water is always really clear. We have some visibility, sometimes more than 50 meters. Uh, you can see the bottom. And uh, the dive site is amazing because, yes, you can be a beginner. You will have some shallow water, shallow places with the fish. And you can be a professional or want to go deep. You can go really deep. Oh, that's a nice uh, dive site. Maurice, the special thing, since three years, he followed the divers and dive with me uh, all the dives since three years, three seasons. This is Maurice. Sometimes as a diver, you, you try to don't have too much interaction with the ocean and the, the life. I've seen this big, this big one, uh, sea brim, and uh, it was different than the others, bigger. And he started following me because I got some fins with a yellow, uh, flashy yellow tip uh, on my fins. Maurice start to follow following me I think uh, about these fins and this uh, yellow color but after I changed fins and he still continued to follow me <laughs> to follow me all the time <laughs> the sea brim you have some hundreds around uh, in the Mediterranean they make just their fish life <laughs> After a while, you see a lot of fish, so it's like humans. They, they have all a different face, and Maurice have a, a little red spot in the eye uh, on the on the right eye, and uh, he got some special lip, little bit, and yeah, he have a really a special face. I can tell when I make a briefing in diving to some certified diver with, with experience, uh, I can say, uh, you will meet my friend Maurice underwater, he will follow us for a while, he will come for a dive, he will follow us for all the dive. And uh, of course, some certified diver, experienced divers, they say, oh, say Mike, maybe. Uh. <laughs> I can meet him 
In this bay, you have the small shallow canyon first. And you arrive in the big bay. You arrive on the right side of the big bay. And just to follow the right side, not so deep. And after you will have the corner and turn around back behind the, the big rock. You go in the, in the sea, out of the bay. And just after this corner, if you go uh, around, uh, Maurice will come, he will be around. When I look for him, yes, oftentimes I knock on my rag like this, tuck, 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 tuck. When I can see him, just to do like this, and he comes. Of course, uh, that's not a dog, I cannot uh, <laughs> rinse out like this, <laughs> but just to do like this, noise. <laughs> and I make some sound on the water, I, I don't know if he can handle it, or <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know. I talk to him in the rags, you know? I tell the name. Maurice, oh, Maurice. And I put my arm like this, Maurice comes. And, uh, and he comes. He comes really close. I don't know why. <laughs> At the beginning, I find <laughs> he is a bit stupid because <laughs> what he do with humans, he is stupid, <laughs> a little bit. What he do to follow the humans like this, to try to, to, to come with us. I don't know what he, what he find about this, or uh, this interaction, maybe, uh, why not? Maybe a fish can, can want to just play him. He comes to say hello to everybody, he turns around everybody. <laughs> He's so funny. By the past, my, uh, my other job was to educate some animals, other animals, some dogs for uh, people with disabilities and also some birds and things. And so, I don't know, maybe uh, I tried to reproduce, uh, you know, the interaction and the things with Maurice. Most of the people, they say, no, not a fish. I don't know why. And, uh, that's a little bit like chicken. People think they are all stupid and just have no memory, but I'm not sure, even for the chicken. What's amazing also is that he remembers because we stopped diving for five months, six months in a row. And the first dive I make, I can meet him underwater and he comes to me, recognizes me. So. When we said a lot of joke in French also uh, about the memory of the, the fish, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> I don't know why he do like this. I don't know exactly what, what's in his brain. He is really strange. Uh, if I met him with other diver, uh, I look at him and he comes. <laughs> I try to forget, to forget him uh, a little bit when, uh, when I'm with some clients because, uh, okay, uh, they will see Maurice, but they have to see a lot of other things also. So I try to find some life and things like this, but Maurice, of course, always follow and uh, comes really close. He's curious, so he can, uh, if I show something to the clients, he comes to see us. <laughs> He's really funny. After a while that he follow like this, I told Maurice, uh, you don't have a fish life, you don't have some things to do, go to, to hunting, to, to try to find some food, to make something, I don't know, you lose your time to follow the diver all the time. <laughs> and uh, of course, the photographer is always happy with this, because Maurice is really a good model. I don't know why he do like this, I don't know.
in the winter when we when we don't work as a diver. Some people can come the, the enter with the, the spare gun, they can they can come. I was really worried about him. Of course Maurice is really friendly and my uh, yeah, I was scared that he, he comes just to say hello to the diver with the gun and he, he can be uh, easy to, to catch. Maybe Maurice is smart enough to, to see uh, when it makes bubbles, that's okay. But if, he, if he's not making bubbles, that's not okay. The apnea is not okay. Uh, maybe he understand this, I don't know. Sometimes if I spend, yes, one full day, a few dives, and I don't meet him, I'm a little bit worried, so what happened? So I ask, of course, to all the staff, and uh, everybody knows Maurice at the dive center is a little bit uh, the mascot uh, <laughs> now. Sure, I will find him. It's my friend. Last time I was with him, and I've seen a, a free diver to come with a harpoon, with the, the gun. And uh, just the time that uh, I look at the guy and I turn my head, Maurice was disappeared totally. <laughs> he was not there anymore. He's smart. Three years already, so. Ah, I don't know. Yeah. Of course, I'm, I'm worried if I don't see him uh, for a while, yeah. He makes me a little bit upset because the last time I've met him, uh, I said, oh, well, it will be the last time probably, the last time probably before uh, a few months. And uh, I've met him, he was with some friends, with uh, other fish. And you know this phenomena when they are uh, like this, they are uh, like malacas. And he just had a look at me like this, but not so much. And for the last one, I was really a little bit disappointed. And that's okay. But he's getting older. I've just read that the, the sea bream uh, can live around seven, eight years. Uh, so Maurice, when I met him, he was already big. So I don't know exactly how old he is. But not sure for next year, we'll see. So Maurice, I think if he, if, if he die next year or whenever, he had a good life. One day he won't be there anymore. And that's life. Uh, I won't be sad, I will be happy that uh, that I knew him. <laughs>